but let's do it on the Friday. I got Boozy Susie and Matthew Hamilton. And listen, James Cook, it was a kind of kismet because yeah. Hammer came into town and he said, I want to do a hammer time on James Cook. And he's been really studying this Joe Brady offense since he took over as OC. And then all of a sudden James Cook was coming on our show and we said, nothing is more perfect than this. What are you noticing? Yeah, so when you look at the Bills' offense, it was really stagnant under Dorsey. Mm. The Bills were just 25th in the league when it came to using motion, pre-snap motion. And since Joe Brady took over about a month ago, they've ranked second. Jeez. And it's totally changed the complexion of this passing game. Let's dig into it, because I have some cool plays. Let's do it! I'm excited. So here against the Eagles, it's a third and five. You're going to see this return motion from Diggs. And what that does, it tells Josh Allen what the coverage is before the ball is snapped. Mm -hmm. He knows it's man coverage, because you saw... Uh, Darius Slay following Diggs around there. He's going to run a corner out. And even with Josh, the timing gets thrown off because he's forced to have to step up in the pocket, but he knows it's cover one, single high safety in the middle field. He knows he's going to have all that space to the sideline, and he could just put the ball out there and let Diggs run under it. So defining coverages, one use of motion. Okay. More motion here from Dalton Schultz. The other thing it does to a defense is it forces them to have to adjust on the fly. The Eagles shifted their front. But they don't really get the secondary on the same page. You'll see here, there's four Eagles defenders over just two Bills receivers. Right. And then on the bottom of the screen, you got three Eagles defenders, three Bills receivers. And they're playing a cover two look. Darius Slay has flat responsibility. He has to sit on that from Latavius Murray. He can't get a ton of depth. And then the safety's on an island. He's got to defend two guys going vertical in Schultz and Gabe Davis. That's right. And Josh Allen throws the whole shot to Gabe Davis. Big play there. And then there's motion that can create absolute chaos. Here's Trent Sherfield coming in, in motion in this jet motion. It essentially creates a quads formation with him coming across. Everybody else is going vertical. And watch what happens to the safety. He has to keep eyes on that motion. Right. He steps down too far, and Cook is going to run this rail route right up the seam and do that flip that he talked about into the end zone. So... Again, the use of motion from Joe Brady has been such a huge difference, and you talked about it the other day, too. It's created more of a ball distribution, and I think it's really helped this offense. Everyone's getting involved. Like you saw, there's three different receivers. Everyone's getting involved in this offense. James Cook seems very happy with his Joe Brady character. Everybody yeah. seems happy. They do have a big one against Dallas. How do you think that one goes? Yeah, I think I think we see a really high-scoring game. I think really? both these offenses are going to come to play. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Well, if we were talking about the numbers and the offense and what he's done, you can motion motion of the ocean all you want, but I look at the numbers. of the second-ranked offense in the NFL since Brady came and took over. They're averaging over well over 400 yards 